Fresno Pacific coming off a big series win over number 24 Cal State LA, looking to get two more wins against La Sierra, and that is exactly what they did. Top of the first inning in La Sierra with runners on the corners, but that's no trouble for John Kortov and Brett Bishop. Kortov catches the runner trying to steal second, and Bishop lays the tag down, and the Sunbirds get out of a jam. Third inning of game one, and Baron Bauer takes one square in the back to lead off the inning, but it proved to be worth it as Kahua Gaspar singles to right field, he brings home Bauer in the first run of the game. Sunbirds up 2-0, and take a look at this. John Kortoff with a shot to left gets the ground rule double, but the Sunbirds leave two stranded in the inning and come up empty. Ryan Cheek on the mound for FPU in game one, and he was dealing. He scattered four hits across seven innings with four strikeouts and no walks to the Golden Eagles. Bottom six now, and Devin Lee scores on the wild pitch from Scott McEnroe. That made it 4-0, and then the bottom of the seventh, Brett Bishop pouring it on. He gets the single to center. That plates two more for a 7-0 lead. Fresno Pacific added one more in the inning and took game one 8-0. In game two, Sunbirds picked up right where they left off. The first inning got started with a single by Devin Lee, and then Gaspar gets a single down the right field line. That would score Lee and Steven Lozier. Gaspar went a combined 5 for 6 on the day between the two games. Still in the first, and Alan Sandoval takes one on the leg. Golden Eagles pitchers walked or hit 21 different batters between the two games. On the mound, it was James Lagorio, the sophomore, getting his first collegiate start. He also got his first collegiate win as he threw a one-hitter through five innings while striking out five La Sierra batters. And the Sunbirds went on to win game two, 10-0. This last weekend was a real big weekend for us. Cal State LA is a very tough team. So, um, and, and to go over on the road and win two out of three at their place to take the series, I, it, was a, it was a big moment in our series or season. It was great. I mean, we came out right off the bat, scored nine runs in the first inning, kind of took the pressure off me. So I just went out there and did what we practiced all fall and all spring. So kind of just stuck to the plan and executed. Ryan Cheek and James Lagorio were, uh, that's exactly what we wanted from them um, and, and what our team needed. They gave it to us. They pounded the zone, which is what you want to see, and uh, they, they mixed their pitches when necessary and uh, fielded their position quick to the play. You know, they did a lot of things that uh, is going to make our coaching staff really think uh, going forward about, you know, what their role should be. I mean, that, that was exactly what we needed. And you don't go on the mound worrying about having to not give up a hit or an extra run to lose the game. You kind of just settle in and do what uh, you practice to do all year and just execute pitches and and uh, make, make get a quality win. So it was, it was fun. These four games in conference coming up are huge. I mean, this is an opportunity for us to get back into, uh, you know, the top of the conference where we want to be. And, um, and it's going to take some, some discipline in the whole roster to contribute. And, um, you know, we took the first two steps of the week. You know, we've got two wins at home, and we took care of business at home like we're supposed to. And, uh, you know, we've got to finish that week out.